Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel uh, for the CSS General Science and Ability, uh, well that is uh, Mathematics with Engineer Omar Hassan. Well, I am going to uh, start a series of lectures and that will be on um, uh, the preparation of uh, CSS General Science and Ability, both sections. Now talking about uh, uh, the division of uh, marks uh, in your uh, general ability paper. So you have 100 marks and that is a, a, a compulsory paper obviously. So you have three portions, one is MCQs, I mean you will be having a, a, a paper for MCQs that is 20 marks and you have to do that in half hour and then you have a subjective part. In your subjective part uh, you have been given two sections, so section one uh, is from the science portion and uh, it has 40 marks and section 2 is general ability where you are dealing with maths, basics of maths, logical reasoning, uh, mental abilities. So we have these three uh, sections in our general ability, general science and ability paper. Now why I am uh, I'm here in front of you, uh, I have been. Uh, I have been through the process of CSS uh, for 3 to 4 years, uh, qualified PMS as well uh, and teaching right now uh, uh, in international institution uh, in particularly dealing with maths. So that helps me a lot over here. Uh, as far as uh, uh, my lecture series is concerned, so uh, I will try to share whatever I have got. Uh, knowledge is to share with others and uh, that I believe so whatever knowledge I have got up till now I will share uh, with my fellows with my students maybe it may benefit um, any one of you so uh, no, no, as far as the contents are concerned for the science as well as for math section so first of all talking about the science portion so the contents are science section And you have physical sciences, uh, where we are going to deal with uh, the astronomy part. Uh, then we have uh, environmental sciences and in environmental sciences we are going to discuss about uh, atmosphere, its composition, uh, structure of atmosphere, uh, we are going to talk about uh, ozone and uh, we are going to talk about uh, various cycles, I mean hydrological cycle, carbon cycle and then we are going to talk about uh, uh, remote sensing, pollution, air pollution, uh, water pollution, uh, so that is the summary you can say and earthquake as well. Then we have uh, a section of biology, biological sciences in which we are going to study about the basics of biology, cell, uh, we are going to study about cell, we are going to study about human physiology. Uh, then we have got food sciences that is part number four, component number four, food sciences. And that is, to, we have to study about the concept of balanced diet, how we can preserve the food and uh, a component, one or two more like that. And last one is computer or IT portion. So information technology. that is uh, the fifth portion of your science section. So from these uh, sections you have questions in your paper uh, and each question is uh, of 20 marks and uh, in science section as well as in math and each question has four parts uh, and each part has five marks. 
so this is what i recall right now next is what about your ability portion well that is uh, that is a bit uh, uh, i'm going to talk about a bit in detail we're going to we're going to discuss uh, arithmetic uh mean we're going to play with numbers uh we are going to study the concept of what mass uh scientific notation we're going to study about the concept of significant figures okay similar operation of uh, multiplication division and uh, mm, we are going to study about uh, indices mm, uh, fractions uh, so that will be the part of arithmetic dealing with numbers then we have algebra algebra part and uh, okay you can also have ratio and proportion in that arithmetic section when we are dealing with numbers then ordering ordering of numbers then algebra we are going to discuss about uh, uh, what is uh, an algebraic uh, expression algebraic terms that is when you are dealing with the variable then you have uh, concept of equation simultaneous equation simultaneous equations then inequalities uh age problems uh different scenarios uh, in which you have to uh, form the equations and then you have to solve them to find the value of the variable that is algebra then you have geometry portion and uh, that 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 includes uh, concept of triangles polygons then concept of angles different types of angles and uh, moreover we are going to maybe we are going to solve uh, some figures as far as the angle is to be obtained so uh, and and the, and the definitions as well uh the definition of angle the definition of triangle polygon regular polygon you have to find interior and exterior angle exterior angle of polygons and uh, uh, uh definition of uh, a point what is the angle at a point what is the angle on the line supplementary angle complementary angle all that stuff is to be discussed here and then you have sampling or data analysis and uh, that analysis we are going to discuss about uh, uh, probability in that section uh, we are going to talk about uh, the numerical methods to find mean median and mod we are going to talk about uh, statistical diagrams histogram pictogram bar chart pie chart scatter diagram so that is part of this one then we have logical reasoning analytical uh, ability mental ability part uh, here in this one so logical reasoning and uh, analytical as well as well as mental ability so this is Uh, you are going to have from your uh, general ability section. We have also questions regarding uh, uh, area, volume. That is a part of mensuration. Uh, so this is this is a general general layout uh, of your general science and ability paper. So uh, starting from arithmetic, uh, the first uh, the first point from arithmetic is numbers. so i'm going to talk about numbers uh, different types of numbers and concept of factor and multiple so let's start from here regarding numbers so the concept of numbers or this is then my lecture number 1 on this lecture series numbers and we have different type of numbers though it may appear to be an easy one for some of you uh, because definitely many of you are well aware of this concept of numbers so we have natural numbers and 
that are from one onwards natural number just to have a revision natural numbers uh, well numbers from one two three four they are whole numbers mean uh, one two three are definitely a whole number and starting from one zero is not included in natural number starting from one till infinity then you have whole numbers so i will i'm sharing whatever i can recall right now starting from zero one two three four so we don't have negative numbers here up to this point then you have integers and uh, they include zero they have both positive negative one positive negative two mean positive numbers and negative numbers as well as zero are part of integers then odd numbers uh, all those numbers which are which are not divisible by 2 not divisible by 2 well that is the concept of odd number take an example 1 not divisible by 2 3 5 7 9 11 13 and so on then we have even numbers well the numbers divide divisible by 2 2 4 6 8 numbers which are divisible by 2 the most easy definition okay what else prime numbers prime numbers well look, give me an example 2 3 5, 7, 11, 13, the numbers having only two factors, like 2 has a factor 1 and 2, 3 has a factor 1 and 3, now observe the common thing, 1, 5, the factors of 5, 1 and 5, now the common thing is that all of them are having the factor 1, yes 1 is a factor of all of them, 1 is a factor of 2, 3, and, and the number itself mean when you're talking about 2 so 1 is a factor of 2 and 2 is a factor of 2 so prime number are those numbers which have two factors and 1 is the number itself and the other one is 1 that's okay so prime number is this one then there is a concept of rational and um, irrational numbers and I'm not going to go into the detail of that so now the next one is the concept of factors and multiple and I'm going to explain it uh, in a very simple way the concept of multiple and the concept of factors now the multiple the multiple the multiples mean number obtained as a result of uh, multiplication of a number with any whole number right for example for example we have a number 2 and if if I, I say that write down multiples of 2 then what you are going to do multiple of 2 mean you are going to multiply 2 by 1 that is 2 multiply 2 by 2 that is 4, 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6, 2 multiplied by 8, that, oh sorry, excuse me, 4, that is 8, so what are they, they are multiples of what, they are multiples of 2, multiples of 2, and because they are obtained when you are multiplying 2 with a number, with a whole number, so when 2 is being multiplied with a whole number, the result is multiple of 2. So whenever you multiply 2 by any whole number, the answer is multiple of 2. Similarly, you can have multiples of 3. 3 1 times 3. So 3 is a multiple of 3. 3, three is a 9. 9 is a multiple of 3. So what about the factors? Factors are basically part part of a bigger number for example 
if you are going to write 4, so I can uh, write 4 as 2 multiplied by 2. So basically 2, 2 times is 4. So uh, no, no, they are the factors. These are the factors. Factors of 4. Mean 4 when broken down, when you, when you break down 4 into its components. Now that components are basically the factors. Like if, if you can break down 5. Now 5 is basically 1 into 5. So 1 and 5 both are factors of 5. Both are factors. You can that in, in an easy term you can say that they are parts of your actual bigger number. The parts whose multiplication is the number. Mean the multiplication of the factors will give you 4. The multiplication of these two factors will give you 5. Moreover, the factors divide the number in such a way that the remainder is 0. Mean 4 when divided by its factor 2. 4 divided by 2 will give you 2, right. So that divides them completely. The remainder is 0. 4 divided by 2, 2, 2 times 4, the remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. You can also multiply, so 4, is, uh, 4 can be divisible by 1, 1, 4 times 4, what is the remainder? 0. So, this is the concept of factors. So, I will conclude my lesson up till here. So, I, I, I just discussed about the outlook, outlook, outlook or you can say the uh, division of general science and ability paper and I have started from numbers arithmetic section and I will keep on sharing the lectures. So, keep watching and uh, you can comment for your inquiries and and, and let me just uh, uh, highlight here one thing that this may appear very simple to many of you. Well, this is, uh, this is simple, but not for everyone. So, the purpose of explanation in detail is that every one of you should get my point. So, I hope, I hope you people will appreciate my effort. Keep watching. Thank you so much.